Hey, welcome to this Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts gameplay video. If you love the history of naval warfare when castles of steel ruled the waves, then don't miss a minute of what's coming up. Hey, welcome. It's time to play some Ultimate Admiral's Dreadnoughts and today Today I want to play Search and Destroy, which you can see I've played and succeeded at. Uh, I've also played and lost. <laughs> so you must design and build one or more capital ships that are able to catch up and destroy two enemy battleships that are retreating to their base. These battleships might be old, but should not be underestimated. They are quite fast and dangerous to fight at close range. A technology that assists remote detection will be very helpful. Two advanced destroyers will escort your forces. Well, okay. Uh, the way this works is you'd better be able to find these guys and you better be able to run them down. Now, what I haven't tried, I've tried reconnaissance and other over and over again. Um, I'm just curious. We're going to jump in here and see what maneuverability and survivability looks like, but I think we're going to jump back out and stick with the reconnaissance. Um, since I haven't looked, we're going to eyeball one thing that's a different. Oh, loading constructor parts. We're going to eyeball one thing that's different and see if, uh, or see if there's a difference anyway. Uh, radio advanced, radio telegraph, and radio direction finder. Right. That won't work. We're going to stick with reconnaissance and other. That shouldn't take but a moment to load up. It has already. So, all right, we're going to take the biggest, baddest dreadnought we can get. Um, I'm not at all convinced that multiples will help, and we'll see. Oh, well, we won't see, because I'm going to end up building one. So, what do you say we get started? Before we do, if you've been listening to me babble for the last two minutes and you have yet to subscribe, please consider doing so. Ring that bell so you know what I've posted on the video. Like the video, share with your friends, and please, please leave me a comment. Okay, we don't, as usual in these little scenarios, we don't need range. We're going to use that for other things. We're going to stick with standard bulkheads right now. We are going to go for all the speed we can get, and sometimes that's not enough. Uh, turbines. Uh, geared turbines. Okay, turbines. Uh, 63 and 33. Right, so I'm looking right here. Geared turbines. 63 and 36. Geared turbines give us uh, 9%, minus 9% engine weight. Uh, minus 30% engine damage chance. 20 acceleration. And 25% ship repairs. Geared turbines 2. Whew! That ran the cost up. Um, minus 10% engine weight. Weight's really important in the in this particular design. Uh, 62 and 40. Wow. That ran the cost through the or the weight through the roof. I'm thinking that's not going to work. Yeah, we're we're just we're just gonna st let's try geared turbines too. I haven't tried that yet. I'm not sure where that'll fall out. Um, uh, fifty-seven percent weight, weights, weight, 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 and weight. Go with that to again. We're looking at weight more than I, I say weight more than cost I don't know I may find out I'm wrong but let's try it auxiliary engines of uh, traverse minus plus five percent plus ten percent turning rate da, 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 da. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna leave that alone right now shaft 20 percent turning rate 30 percent turning rate Running the cost through the roof. Let's go with shaft one. The best possible armor. Barbettes, I think, matter. Even though I won't use one. It's uh, a 
minimal and a torpedo. I won't use one. I think the uh, main tower I plan to use has it built in, and I suspect it matters. Um, uh, resistance, resistance. Hull weight. Let's go with the double hull. Reinforced bulkheads. Oh. Anti flood one and citadel. 15%. Uh, I like the resistance. Uh, 6.5% resistance. 12.5% hull weight. 12% hull rate. Boy, that really increases armor cost. Let's go with the Citadel 4. That looks like the best. Go with... Uh, boy, we really need to knock these guys out quick. Let's go with super heavy shells. Increased shells. We're not going to have any torpedoes. Uh, Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That just gets expensive and weight. Electrohydraulic really gets those guys moving. A seven and a half main guns, secondary guns, casement gun weight, and engine weight. 5% main guns, secondary guns, casement gun, plus 5% guns weight, plus 3% hull weight. And main gun secondary two and a half, eight and a half for cost. Well, let's go for the best there is in semi-auto reloading. We may have to change that based on our ability to finish this thing out. Um, now, this I'm a little bit confused about. Um, I'm not at all certain that communication range matters here. We're going to leave it off, but we're going to get the best radar we can get. Okay, and we want a lot of armor. Um, uh, belt armor. I say that. Yeah, we're going to we're going to go for we're going to go for 16 inches. Now, that might be excessive given the type of fight it is. In fact, I, I kind of think these extended numbers might be more important and the belt might be more important excuse me the deck might be more important given the ranges that we open with but we'll see uh, deck extended this gets expensive I don't think we'll be able to sustain that <laughs> 16 16 turret top 8 and I don't even know if we're going to have secondaries so, we're running way up here. We haven't even begun. So, th these things may have to be adjusted. Let's get the best tower we can get. And set it as... Wow, that is far aft. I didn't know it would go that far back. I don't know if that'll work. Secondary tower... We don't want the best there is. Yeah, it won't work. It doesn't even fit. Uh, let's see if we get that secondary tower in now. Nope. Wow, she just doesn't want to fit in there with this thing anywhere. But almost as far forward as it'll go. There, suddenly she finds her way to work. And we've got a four weight offset of 0.4%, which is depressing because... because... we end up with two turrets up front, and that really... Yeah, I was hoping I could get two of those. Ah, uh, gosh, that's awful. Yeah, wedging tunnel, wedging funnels in here is 
challenging. Uh, mega funnels work. They're heavy, but there you go. Wow, cost is through the roof. Yeah, we're going to have to go back and adjust because this is going to be pricey. Oops. 16 inch guns, three barrels are going to be pricey. Yeah, so we've already run out of money. So, we got to go back and find some money. And we might get that is here. Yeah, that helped a bunch, but now we have a weight issue. Uh, which is a lot of that is an armor. A lot of that is an armor. That's good. I don't think that's going to matter. That might. And yeah, all that looks good. So we're going to have to find. Heavy shells. That helped, but not much. Yeah, we're going to have to give something up here. And turbines fuel. We don't have an auxiliary engine. Double hull, reinforce, anti flood, Citadel 4. Oh, we haven't even done our explosives yet. Oh, that runs the cost through the roof. Well, hmm. I've done this before and don't remember running up on this, so what have I changed in, in some radical manner that has so much run the cost and everything up? Hydraulic turn with semi-automatic reloading. That gets the weight down. And that gets the cost down. We really need to belt some bloody hits out fast. So, up deck extended at eight. That's really, let's go to four. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, I think that's probably where I, wow, that made a huge difference. Huge. We'll come back. Secondary guns are not terribly useful. Neither are casemate guns. This is a special build. <laughs> I just don't see. I just don't see. Oh, increased ammo takes me up in cost. Uh, plus 35% shell rounds. Yeah, this is fun. I... I don't think this will matter since we've got no secondaries, right? <laughs> we can't, we can't cheat our way out of that. Um, see if we can run the extended belt down. Yeah, that got us into. I don't expect a lot of belt hits. We're going to be bow on for the most part. The deck worries me more than anything. And, okay, uh, this isn't, uh, hmm. I'd love to have a 10-inch deck, but heck, I'd love to have a beer in my, or an egg in my beer. A beer in my egg might be interesting, too. All right, we've got a little four aft, four weight offset. We need to adjust, hit the shift button. Let's see if we can find a sweet spot here. Four-weight offset point one. I don't think. Uh, after weight offset. After weight offset. After weight offset. Four-weight offset. 
<sighs> and doesn't look like there's a doesn't look like there's a perfect build unless I could do something silly like move one of these which just generally doesn't want to play all right we're 33 knots 54,000 tons give or yeah, we're well under we're underweight um, well look we can save some money by stepping her down What if we step her down to 51,000? It's going to change. Woo, 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 woo. She's getting too short. 51,4. Saved a lot of money. Take her up to 51. Let's just take her to 52. And that saved us some money. We've got a little bit of weight left. I don't think we can get. Ooh, we can get. Super heavy shells. Ooh. And since she's a little bit shorter, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, we just play with the, this. Is so much fun. This is almost as much fun as play in the game. 52 9. Fifty-two five. Is this editable? Nope. You got to play with the slider. Uh, boy, there's just no weight left. <laughs> there's just oh, 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 oh. I almost got the six-inch deck extended. <laughs> All right, let's just leave it alone. She's heavily armed. She's got big guns. She's got no secondaries to waste because this is just going after capital ships. Let's go get them. Yeah, that's great fun. I love the design. I love the design process. I can't wait for the nap. I may do a video on the upcoming patch. I don't say patch. Updates a better word. Uh, there's going to be some fun stuff. They're going to change some stuff, make it really cool. Let's go play. Germans against the Chinese. Hmm. Let's get the pursuit on. All right, where are they? Oh, look, radar. It's another thing I have. Please comment. I have had some comments that helped me with the interface a bunch, like double clicking there. And finding out that those guys are behind us. Uh, in fact, that might be them right there. All right, first thing we need to do. Oh, no, not the first thing we need to do. No, nope, that was dumb. Let's restart the battle. Actually, I really didn't need to restart the battle. That was silly. Now we got. Uh, I'm not thinking this morning. Should have had more coffee. Okay. Spotted to the southwest. Yeah, we were in better shape before I screwed up. They're that away, men. Yeah. Ah, did you see that little flash? I think that's our radar. Yes, that is cool. All right, we're turning that way. Now I'll go back and do what I wanted to do before, which not playing with smoke. It wouldn't have mattered if I had smoked or not. I was not thinking. Okay, these guys are attached. He's the destroyer leader. Ugh. Yeah, they're, they'll stay. They should stay in the clear. She's got 30 knots on. Top speed 30 and a half. Ugh. She can't really get away. That's sad. Because... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. She's a different ship. She got 30, 30 and a... Whoa! I haven't seen that before. I may have not been paying attention, though. Alright, well then I want her independent. She's going that way. 
Here we go. She really needs to lead off. And that's awkward, trying to cut across her bow. I'm not sure how well that'll work. I'm pretty sure it won't work terribly well. Okay. This little puppy will not really... She, she can't even keep up with the battleship. That's bad. But she can outrun them substantially. I don't remember seeing two different classes of destroyers before. Do they look alike? I'm getting caught up in the minutia here, but this is actually interesting. Look at that. I see. A lot of guns here. And more torpedoes there. They are different. They are different. This one's useless. Let's rock. Kick up the high Okay, and let's get ourselves coordinated here. Oh, these guys are getting too close. Turn, 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 turn. Yeah, V1 won't be of any help at all. Not at all. Come on, give me the radar again. I think I may have turned too much. Yep. All right. Well, we got one destroyer that can get out there and scout. Got a lot of ammunition, big, heavy, 16 inch guns. We've only got 33 knots, and I've seen bad guys that can out, well, I'm going to say outrun, but they can certainly, they can certainly, there we go, get him on course. Oh, radar, give me a, give me a signal. Okay, you're just about right. And you're useless. You just keep pace with, uh, well, if we're lucky, what will happen is, I say we're lucky, if needed. Last time I played, one of the, just the uh, bad guys was so tough that I just could not, I just could not kill it. And I needed a destroyer to go back and finish it off. So this will be my, this will be my guy for that kind of work if necessary. Meanwhile, this guy needs to haul butt and get out there. That'll be my uh, beater. Get out there and try to threaten somebody, make him turn, slow down if I need to. And two hours and 19 minutes. We're still trying to close the speed. Or close the speed, close the range. They're off in that direction. We're doing okay. This could be challenging today. This could be challenging. Yes, I know. He's got 35 and a half knots on, he's got 30 and a half knots on, and she's got 33 knots on. <sighs> fast, fast, fast battleship. We've eaten up a bunch of time. What, have we lost him off a of radar? This can't be good.
Well, it says we spotted, but... Wait, wait, yes, yes. Alright, let's slow down a bit. And we can zoom out there. I got thank you so much. I cannot remember who commented to tell me what I had been ignoring in the interface. This makes things so much simpler. We don't have a good feel for their speed yet. They don't seem to be screaming along. We might be able to just right upright catch these guys. Oh, we're already shooting. Look at the high arc. Oops. Look at the high arc. Here they come. Wow, it's a long ways off. All right, the other thing we can do is we can click on this and see that these guys are in the range of, uh, so he's firing at this guy and we're catching him. We still don't have all the information about these guys we could use. But we know we've got a 1.4% chance, chance to hit them. Let's go back and see. Oh, there goes a bunch of outgoing rounds. Yep, our courses look good. Here they come. I love this. This is so cool. Thump, 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 thump. 1.4, 2 chance. Let's kick the speed up a little bit or we're going to be here all day. Okay, uh, what else can we learn? You see, we've got 30 and a half knots on there still, 35 and a half knots on there, 33 knots. We still haven't learned enough about these guys. We are 42% of the way to identifying them. Here comes the next. Oh, woof. Woof. I would not want to be this guy. Yeah, we're going to kick the speed up, not because I really like the arcadey aspect of the high speed but because this is a long chase almost got him identified I don't know who he's shooting at now here 65 percent identification 57 percent identification 59 68 we need to identify him with a 16 inch round Oh, that was wild. 2.8%. Good thing we got a lot of ammunition. And... Alright, let's go back and check our courses. Okay, you head for them. And let's adjust our course to be straight pursuit. And this guy is getting left behind something awful. Um, <coughs> let's turn him in a bit. And back here. Speed her up. Thump, thump, thump. Boom. Whoa. 16 inch hit on Battle Cruiser? We don't know. Mid deck penetration 1100. Wham. And set her on fire. Now, this might be a uh, relatively simple one. The one I played last night, I lost because I couldn't kill. The first guy was so tough. And uh, by the time I'd beaten it down, I couldn't have enough time to kill the second one, which was faster than the first one. So every time you play this, it gets be a it's a it's a different problem. 
Ah, there goes that cough button. And get down here and watch the. Oh, that's just awesome. I am coughing myself to death this morning. There they go. Looks like we've identified these guys. And a big, well, not a big hit, but a hit. Uh, Mid-deck penetration, partial penetration, 31 damage. Mid-deck partial penetration, 111 damage. They can look up here and see what your net damage is. We've had two partial penetrations for 142 damage and one penetration for 1100. I think that's very cool. Let's take a look at these guys. Shu Shang, I guess. I don't know. She's only got 20 knots. Oh, we're going to run her down. And 10.3 armor. She's, yeah, these guys. These guys are very dead. This is going to be a pretty straight up, they're gone fight, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, they won't they won't survive a lot of this long range fire <sighs> and well, let's turn it on nice <clears throat> oh, I've managed to screw up one of the destroyers. I don't know why. I thought I saw a big curve in her. Well, maybe not. In the uh, next update, they say we'll see the guns elevate the fire and then depress to reload, which will be very cool. Four point four percent chance to hit. Oh, that was really close. All right. Yeah, this interface thing's starting to work for me. Ooh, close, close. I'm having fun with this. Making me a little dizzy. They're also supposed to have improved decals for damage. So we'll, uh, which is something that will be very nice because I think right now the damage modeling, uh, I, visually anyway, is, uh, is kind of boring. We can watch her fire from here. See the flashes on the horizon. Boom. Well, I say these guys are going to be a piece of cake to kill. We can't get any hits we want, but we're up to 7.5%, which is getting serious. We're getting into the 50% per salvo for a hit. Oh, I think we bumped her, but didn't hurt her. And now they're turning a bit, so we need to adjust. There's a hit. Two mid-deck partial penetrations. We're going to have to do better than that, guys. Oh, we're going to catch return fire now. We've closed up on them. Now we get to find out whether our protection scheme is worth anything. 14 inch rounds. It can be dangerous. I took a, a, a fire control hit last night that might have been also very critical. The 
about my inability to finish those guys off. <clears throat> so this isn't, it doesn't have to be totally one-sided, I guess I should say. Yeah, I got it running at a really arcade-like speed, otherwise this video will last forever. Oh, come on now. You're up to a 66% chance for salvo. we got to get this on. We're at an hour and 36 minutes left. Got a whole lot of beat down to do. Oh, that was close. Boom. Funnel. Mid deck over penetration. 16.6. Makes you think you might ought to go to HE. But not really. Oh, come on now. How's that destroyer up there? Whoops, wrong destroyer. And... Nice hits, nice hits. 309, start deck extended penetration. Slowing her down, she's getting slow. So far they haven't put a ooh, couple of, couple of small, what would they have been? Mid deck partials. Haven't heard her flotation a bit. I have to start watching the destroyer though. She's gonna wrong destroyer. She's in torpedo range now. I'd be very surprised if we don't see this guy begin to switch fire to the destroyer. She's peppering away with her bow gun. Oh, we took a hit. On fire. No no real damage. That was interesting. I think they are shooting at our destroyer now. Yep. Some smoke. Let's start maneuvering. <coughs> Setting her up. Here comes a torpedo game. Woo! She's already launched torpedoes. Alright, I should have put them on. Wham! Big hit. I should have put her on save. <clears throat> Those torpedoes are unlikely to hit anybody. Since so we just need to maneuver to survive. There's a big spread of them. Wow, look at them. I don't know. There's a lot of torpedoes in the water. <clears throat> she needs to do what she can not to die while she reloads her torpedoes. Let's watch and see if we get any hits out of all that. Doesn't look like it. These might have a chance. She's going to comb those. Oh, we got a hit. Two hits. Maybe more coming. Look at them turn. They didn't like that at all. Yeah, she's in trouble. Are we going to get a hit here with the torpedo? I don't know, but we're pounding her to pieces. I think you're gonna. Ee, I think you're gonna suck one up right there. Boom. All right, she needs to come around. She's reloaded. We're getting into uh, its deadly range. Slow down. And let's get all the batteries engaged. She's hurting. Let's go to her. Yeah, this is going to work out.
very nicely compared to the <laughs> last night anyway. All right, we gotta we're gonna run him down with this other. Where's my other destroyer? Target him. We've taken no damage to speak of. This guy is oh down to nine and a half knots. He's sad. Uh, we may have to worry about a collision here. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. How many hits did we just get? Uh, that is... Shushang. Well, we got a bunch of hits there. Only one of them is showing a 1366 extended deck extended penetration 1366 must have gotten a lot of waterline hits because flotation is really torn up and she's got no engines left I'm for it what I'm not for is this guy running into my battleship oh well they finally got a piece of us in fact she may just need to go behind her going ahead of her is foolish Uh, normal save. Now, let's go after her while this guy finishes off. This poor bugger. Thump, thump, thump. Man. And a dink there. And she comes around. Looking for that. Looking for what she might not be needed to do. Since I think the worth is going to finish her off. Before the destroyer can even get in torpedo range. Plunk, 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 plink, plink. I don't think there's any way to order her. There might be a way to order her not to fire. I don't know. Well, we got three torpedo hits. Really tore things up. Now it's a race to see who finishes her. I suspect the battleship will. We're going to give her a chance with her torpedoes. She'll try. She'll try. Oh, the torpedoes are launched. There, there we go. Look at them. Wham! There we go. Oh my God! Look at, look at the spread of torpedoes. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at them. My God. This ought to be interesting. Whoa, whoa. We're going to get any hits? One, two. She's structurally wrecked. Torpedoes won't finish her. What will is this fire right here. Boom. And there you go. Okay, well. It looks really simple. It looks like uh, you know, there's nothing to this mission, but it's just not true. Uh, the game doesn't give me any statistics, but I'd say I'm probably about 50-50 
played it three or four times. A couple of times it was pretty straightforward like that. Other times it was really difficult because you'd have uh, two fast battleships or like the uh, playing last night where you had one battleship that was significantly faster than the other and the other that was heavily armored and even those 16 inch guns were having a hard time finishing it and then I made a tactical error with my destroyers and failed to uh, failed to finish failed to finish the heavily armored guy simply with the destroyers while I pursued and shot up the other guy I waited too long to go after the fast one and ran out of time so very cool lots of replayability even at this early alpha uh, you can go to their website and see what's planned for the next uh, update I may do a quick video on that I don't know I got a little time today maybe I can pull that off in any case hey I enjoyed the hell out of it this is really a great game Go buy this thing if you've got a few dollars in your pocket and you're interested. Again, I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I've never even contacted the devs. I've never posted in their forums, although I won't promise I won't. But in any case, there's no business relationship between me and them. My recommendation about this is simply I really like it. And if you are at all interested, get over there and, and buy you a copy and get in there and give this game a try. It's worth every bit of what it cost. Hey, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you again real soon. Hey, thanks for watching. If you click on that picture of Very Young Waz, you'll be subscribed so you'll never miss another video. Then click on that bell notification button, and please share and comment. See you again soon.